Well, what might be very interesting if there is a hung parliament, uh, the assumption that many people seem to be making is that if there is a hung parliament, it will be one in which the Conservative Party have just over 300 votes, but not 330, 305, 300, something like that. And that the Labour Party will be the second biggest party with something between 250 and 300. And then you're looking then at the important kingmakers in both the Liberal Democrat Party and in the, the Scottish National Party. And it will be interesting to what extent, particularly the Liberal Democrats, might say to senior people in the Labour Party, we would be prepared to enter into some sort of an arrangement um, uh, with you, um, but only if you change your leader. We do not want to deal with Mr Corbyn. Uh, so they may or may not say that. Then it's a difficult choice for the senior people in the Labour Party. Do they decide that they want to ditch their leader for the sake of getting power and forming a government? Uh, or do they tell the Liberal Democrats that nobody but the Labour Party decides who leads the Labour Party, so clear off? And, and that would be the choice. So what is likely is not a coalition such as we had between 2010 and 2015. What would be likely if there is an attempt in a hung parliament by the Labour Party to keep the Conservative Party out of power, what would be likely is that they seek to build an informal arrangement with other parties and those other parties would probably have to include the Liberal Democrat Party, the Scottish National Party, possibly the Democratic Unionist Party who have been sounding far more middle of the road in recent weeks between Conservative and Labour. So they might back a Labour government uh, because they're very cross with what Mr Johnson did to them in his negotiations with the EU. And when they get cross, they, they tend to be quite unforgiving.